بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا كتب عليكم الصيام كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون on the successful completion of the month of Holi Ramadan. And I further extend my deep and heartfelt felicitation on the occasion of Eid al-Fitr, that may Allah accept in His sight all our fastings, our obligatory and voluntary prayers, our dhikr, our charity, and the zakat, and the sufferings which we have done in the path of Allah and for His deen and the truth. Festivals have been a universal feature and are celebrated in different cultures and communities and all religions in the world. And since ancient times, festivals are celebrated on the arrival or departure of a particular season or at the time of sowing in the farms or cutting of crops in cultivation or it can be a birthday of a religious leader or even a god as some of them believe in. Islam being a universal religion, Islam being a universal religion, rather a complete way of life cannot be dependent on these factors. So Ramzan is a month of training with the target of inculcating taqwa among the followers, that is the Muslims worldwide. It is not a mere show or exhibition or change in dress or form or appearance, but it is exactly, it is the state of the heart in which a man is fearful of Allah and refrains from disobedience to Allah. As Prophet, peace be upon him, has said, pointing towards his heart, Christ, At-Taqwa ha-huna, At-Taqwa ha-huna, At-Taqwa ha-huna. At-Taqwa is in the heart. Taqwa is here, Taqwa is here, Taqwa is here. Eid al-Fitr is a celebration after the successful completion of this rigorous training of one month. During this one month, the Muslims undergo a physical and spiritual training. Physical training by refraining from eating and drinking and having spouse with one. Having. Ramzan has a physical and spiritual rigorous training. Physical training a man proves by refraining from eating, drinking and having sex with one's spouse. Spiritual training is in the night. By offering, offering the obligatory prayers, prayers of Isha, Isha offering, offering Tarawi, and standing in Tahajjud, or also termed as Qiyamul Layl, and reading as much as possible of the Quran and understanding the meaning of it. It is also a way of expressing our gratitude and thanks towards Allah for giving us this a unique month so that we individually and collectively can improve our status and the spiritual level and become a righteous man or a woman after undergoing this training. Hereby, passing this total month, we follow the third pillar of Islam and that is fasting. So, further, this celebration is only for those who have successfully completed this program and are entitled for the celebration as such. And even after completion of this one month, a Muslim or a Muslim does not boast himself or herself and does not want to take the credit that he or she has done this program, but they attribute it towards Allah by reciting repeatedly Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allah is the greatest, Allah is the greatest, Allah is the greatest, there is no God but Allah, Allah is the greatest, Allah is the greatest, and all praise is due to Him. During this month of Ramadan, we Muslims have practically demonstrated that we can and we did refrain from the lawful and the allowed acts just to seek the pleasure of Allah. With the same spirit, after the month of Ramadan, Muslims are supposed to refrain from the prohibited and the illegal and the unlawful 
actions in the daily life possibly for the rest of the life and if not then at least for 11 months to come and after 11 months once again another ramzan will come in and it will again uh, the muslims will undergo the training of it. it can be a sort of driving that that driving through a road a driver has the flexibility of taking the right turn or the left turn or a u turn and driving as per the whims and fancies but when the same road passes through a tunnel inside the mountain then they don't have the flexibility they have to stick to that one track as long as the tunnel is going on so ramzan of one month is a sort of a tunnel where we cannot deviate and we have to stick to the sirat mustaqim and that is the right path and once we are out of that tunnel again the driver is flexible to move left right center go straight or turn and after a particular period again a tunnel comes then once again we are restricted to the single track and we cannot deviate so in the spiritual and the physical life from the religious aspect ramzan is coming after every 11 months so we have got a spiritual tunnel where we cannot deviate and we can see the improvement in the muslims arabs and non arabs throughout the world that they become pious and stick towards the true teachings of islam as we all know Happiness, happiness is an integral, integral part and important to human life everybody, everybody wants, wants to be happy, to be happy. And, and islam, islam does, does gives its place and also for merry making eid in islam means merry making too but it does not give at the cost of moral values and crossing the pre set decency limits islam has its own constitution and it gives a muslim the pre set boundaries of decency and affability respecting those muslims can have celebrations and be merry the occasion of eid also teaches muslims to forge unity but it is deplorable that we failed to develop the sort of unity which world the occasion of eid also teaches us to forge unity but it is deplorable that we have failed to develop the spirit of unity which would put we muslims on an elevated and a higher platform of life we as muslims and muslim ummah are segregated and divided and we are unable to accept the change from within and consequently this unchanged and stubborn behavior and the approach of all muslims globally is responsible for the breakdown and suffering of the community and ummah worldwide why we have failed we failed because we don't have the true and complete concept of islam we don't understand the meaning of quran and its implication and are not ready to transform our lives as per the teachings of quran and hadith this is the sole cause for the present status of the muslims we have deprived ourselves from the supreme advices of a prophet peace be upon him and looking at his life we could see that he has done and undergone suffering for the sake of the muslim ummah he earned hostilities and he sacrificed everything what he had for the sake of the establishment of the islamic system he sacrificed everything he had for the sake of the establishment of the islamic system he set a new era of history he gave a new direction for the history of the mankind and before that it was not done He set, he set new trends. trends. He, he created, created a, an ummah, the, the group of companions, companions who are dedicated and dynamic and devoted and, devoted and transformed the society as such. Prophet, Prophet peace be upon him, him gave us a new thought and knowledge and, and put, put us above every civilization. civilization. He, he transformed and revolutionized the goat grazing shepherds, shepherds of the city of Makkah. Makkah. To the, the best, best of all men. for that history, history is witness to the, the fact that, that these tribes of makkah but divided, divided and they cannot, they cannot even rule a single city of makkah and they used to fight among them themselves them. within 100 years, years of islam these goat grazing shepherds became the great rulers of the world they had a true concept of islam and the teachings of quran they took this message and they spread throughout the globe They went, they went into the, the east and reached Afghanistan and, and India. In the, the north, north, they entered, they entered Europe. Europe. In, in south, 
they penetrated the dense jungles of Africa and the West, they reached the coast of Atlantic Ocean. The existence of American continent was not known to mankind even 700 years ago. How this was possible? It was the mere fact that they had the truth and concept. How this was possible? It was only because they had a true and complete concept of Islam. They had a full knowledge of Quran. They understand the meaning of Ramadan. They underwent the rigorous training of Ramadan and had and achieved the desired results. And they, and they knew, knew the, the message, message of Eid al and they and they celebrated it, it on the successful, successful completion of the training program. program. The growth the of Islam was exponential, was exponential and miraculous. And in and a few centuries, century, the Islamic Caliphate became the largest empire the world had ever known, with controlling some of the most important centers of civilization. We are all aware of the fact that we have got one Allah. One prophet, one Rasul, one Quran, one, one Hadith, one Kaaba, one Qibla, one Constitution. Then why we are humiliated and defeated? And why we are insulted? What have changed? You have changed. I have changed. You have changed. We have changed. The concept of Islam has changed. The concept of Islam has shrunk. It has contracted. The Islam as a way of life. The Islam left by prophet. Why leaving this world was a complete way of life, covered with all the spheres of life, which we can term in a short form as B to B, as bedroom to battlefield. Islam covered all the spheres and concepts of life. But today's Islam has become a mere religion confined to the four walls of worship, that is a masjid or a mosque. Today's Islam became a religion as an individual affair, with some changes in the personal behavior, slight changes in the dresses and appearance, there are some rituals and some actions of that sort. Hence, now it becomes obligatory and our moral duty to understand the true and complete concept of Islam, of also Quran, the message of Ramadan and also of Eid. We must strive to get the true message of all these aspects. May this Eid not, not pass, pass once again as, as one, one of the Eids in the past of merrymaking, making, or, or as the festivals of some of the religions and cultures, and cultures without understanding understand the purpose of it. it. May this Eid al Fitr become an effective source, source of happiness and unity for the Muslims worldwide. Very unfortunately, Eid is also a way for some of those who have not acquired fatwa. Very unfortunately, Eid is also a way for some of the Muslims who have, who have not acquired, acquired taqwa, taqwa even, even after undergoing this whole, whole training. training. And, and there is a hadith, hadith which says that, that a man is cursed who has acquired this month of Ramadan and who could, who could not seek the pleasure of Allah and who could not refrain himself from getting into the fire of hell. May Allah prevent us from being in this category. I sincerely supplicate, may Allah accept all our deeds and right actions Forgive our sins, neglect our shortcomings and mistakes, fulfill our genuine desires, accept all our legal and genuine duas and supplications, give us new spirit and strength, so we start our life after Ramadan with new vigor, stamina and strength, conscience and with a pledge to be more dedicated, pious, obedient, punctual, dutiful and lead our lives with a sincere attachment with Quran and with the true and complete concept of Islam. May Allah accept our du'as and forgive our sin.